Okay, we're going to do Niagara File, another cookbook recipe. Um, and again, here's the website if you want to look at um, any of uh, the latest and greatest Ni-Fi stuff I put up there. And again, if you have any questions or any issues with uh, Ni-Fi that, you know, I'd love to try and help you out, just um, send me this uh, uh, email address uh, on the bottom here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next recipe. In this recipe, I'm going to show you... Um, you have a problem, say you want to clean up your uh, NiFi directory. Maybe it's gotten to a funky state, um, or you have a lot of backups, and you just you just want to kind of start fresh, but you also want to be able to keep your properties file and your uh, flow file. Um, so I'm going to show you how to clean up some of the directories so you keep all that stuff intact. So how you do that is uh, you can delete the following uh, NiFi directories, and then you can kind of just start from scratch, but keep your but it'll keep your same uh, your flow file configurations. Uh, just note, if you delete these directories, you're going to lose uh, any files that have been queued up um, in the flows. So you want to delete your, uh, your uh, content repository. This would be in your NiFi installation directory. Uh, your flow file repository, uh, the logs directory, and the provenance directory, and the work directory. Uh, you could probably get by without deleting the logs directory if you want to keep your logs. I just like to delete everything, uh, start kind of start from scratch, and you know, just continue with my, uh, with my NiFi instance running. Um, so what's happening? Well, uh, when NiFi first starts up, it creates uh, quite a few uh, directories to help it support its operation. The one thing it creates is a content, re content repository directory, and what that does is it holds the actual data files that you're receiving uh, into the NiFi uh, s system. Uh, there's a database repository that ha holds all the database information, user information. I usually leave that one alone. Uh, the flow file repository is created, and that keeps track of where your NiFi where your NiFi flow is, your NiFi file is located throughout the flow, and it keeps all the attributes and everything else associated with your particular NiFi instance. Uh, not to be confused with a content repository, which actually keeps the data file that you received into your NiFi system. Uh, the logs directory contains all your log files. Again, if you want to keep them, that's fine. I usually just delete everything and start from scratch. Uh, the provenance directory contains the provenance information. Uh, data provenance is a whole other slide, a whole other topic. I um, won't get into it too much right now. And then finally, there's the work directory. And NiFi uses that directory as kind of like a scratch pad area to uh, unzip all its libraries and do kind of all its work. Um, so you can delete that directory as well. And by deleting all these directories, you'll have a clean version of your NiFi instance, but it enables you to keep your uh, flow file and properties file and all the other XML files that you've configured. So you can kind of just sort of kind of starting from scratch, but being able to keep your existing settings. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll show you how this works in a video. Okay, so if you look in the, uh, the NiFi installation directory, you see you have about four directories here that comes is, comes with NiFi out of the box. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead and start up NiFi, and what you're going to see is so it's going to create some new directories for us. So right now you can see the log directory and the work directory there, and let's give it a minute. It should create a couple more for us. Okay, there's the content repository directory, the flow file, and the provenance directory. And again, there's the work in the log directory. And now we have our database directory. So let's go bring up uh, our web page. And let me just create a little flow here just to test some things out. So the typical, I'm going to generate a flow file and just kind of route it through here. So the flow file that I'm going to send as fast as I can. I'm not doing the 10-second thing anymore, so I'm setting that to zero seconds. Uh, and then the property is just going to be one kilobyte file. And I'll just send that over to an update attribute, and then just go ahead and log it. So just nothing special. I just want to run some data files through the system here. Let's go ahead and start everything up. And we'll get some flow files running through the system generated. So you can see the count there, the queues. So let's go ahead and stop things now. And you can see that we have some queues already built up because we stopped them as they were getting sent through. So we have 85 in the queue here, going to the update attribute, and then we have 5,721 going into the log attributes. 
So let's say we want to just clean this up and get rid of all these queued files. I know you, there's a function where you can delete it, but I'm just, just an example just to show you how to clean these things up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and delete all these directories, the content, the flow file, the logs, the provenance, and the work directory. So we're going to delete all those out. I'm going to leave the database there. I just feel comfortable leaving it. You can try it yourself if you want by like leaving it there. Let's start it up again. And again, there's a way to clear those queues out in the, in the GUI, but I just wanted to show you that you can delete these things and everything will still work for you. So we started it. You can see the work directory got created again. And you can see all our other repository directories got created again. Uh, the only difference being is there's no flow files in there or no the data files in the content directory there. So our queue should be empty. The, sh the, sh the same flow should be there. Uh, but the queue should be empty. So let's bring up our um, NiFi GUI. And now you can see that all the queues are zero. Zero here and zero there. I think it's 5,721 there before. So um, that's it. So let's go ahead and start it up just to show you that everything still works. And it does. So again, it's just an I idea. If you, things get kind of messy, um, you just want to clean things up, you can delete those directories.